morning everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Janet and I have lost over a hundred pounds following the ketogenic diet on my channel you will find what I eat in a day well on keto keto recipes as well as some protein sparing modified fast recipes so make sure that you hit that red subscribe button so you can join the family here and for all of my returning subscribers welcome back to my channel Today I am going to share with you what I am eating. I think you guys are really enjoying these, these type of videos. Let me know down below. I always mention I like to have variety on my channel so you will find like recipes, what I'm eating. I've dug into even the mental aspect of gaining and losing weight. So I try to have a good variety on my channel to, I know you'll never please everybody, but something that everyone that is watching can kind of take away from my channel and that's why I do such a variety on my channel for that reason. So I am going to be taking you along with me today on what I am going to be eating today. I have not had anything, anything at all all yet this morning i woke up showered got ready for the day and i have had not anything so i am about to make my coffee and let me show you how i am making my coffee with the new coffee that i have received that jimmy and i are both in love new here this is our coffee station it is just set up in our dining room i mainly did it because i didn't want to ruin our counters like from the vent coming off of the coffee maker. So I set up this nice little coffee bar. I absolutely love it. It was the best thing that I ever done. And I just kind of decorated, those were cards from Mother's Day that I left up, but I just kind of decorated um, the wall as well too in this area, but I absolutely love it. So this is the coffee maker that we use. It is the Ninja, absolutely love it. We have had this coffee maker for four or five years it is fantastic and then recently i got the nespresso off of um garage sale off of facebook for literally like 60 dollars. it came with a bunch of coffee i do love it but it does get expensive so this is the new coffee that volcanica has been kind enough to send me and it is amazing so this is what we have been using right now have are all a medium light roast as well too so they were very generous in order for us to try it because like i mentioned i was looking for a cup coffee company that is going to be my new go-to and this is it 100 percent. this is it they have been also so kind to give you guys a coupon code which will be Janet Greta. I will have it across the screen. You can use it. It is a one-time only coupon code and only works on coffee. So make sure you check that out. It is our new favorite. So the great thing about the Ninja is that you can um, prefer, if you prefer just a cup or a travel mug, a half a pot, a full pot, it tells you the measurements and everything that you can make it for your needs. So we always usually brew a half a pot that's just what we always do and then i have my little setup here of course you guys know i have the perfect keto collagen remember their sale is still going on this week for memorial day make sure you please take advantage of that highly recommend their collagen i love the cinnamon toast and i also have the salted caramel and then i also at nighttime i use their beauty and sleep collagen this is really, really good as well too. This is the turmeric coconut latte, and I love this at evening time. Um, especially if I'm having cravings at nighttime, I, this is going to be my go-to and has been my go-to for nighttime, and I can sip on that. Helps you relax, sleep, all of the good things. And then I also have my Stevia drops here. This is the brand True Me. And then I also have some little packets of the organic stevia as well back here. This is my frother that Jimmy got me for my birthday. And this is what I use for the topping. I will be showing you that today. And then we just have our filters, stir sticks, and sugar for obviously company. Jimmy only uses his flavored creamer, the International Delight. We don't use any sugar um, at all, but obviously it is for company so that when they come, they can help themselves. Um, to whatever coffee that they would like. So let's get started. I will show you how I am making my coffee right now that I am loving. 
All right, so my coffee is in there. It is nice and hot, and usually what I like to put in it first because it is so hot right away is I will go in with my half a scoop of Perfect Keto Collagen. I explain in every other video how important collagen is. It has helped my hair throughout keto, through weight loss. It has helped my nails, my skin. Jimmy is now taking it. He gets the unflavored kind and uses it with his orange juice. I know, which is kind of weird, but that's always what he has done. So I only add a half a scoop every every single day every day so that is what i am starting out with to add in there and then i go in with one or two drops of my liquid stevia and then i add my two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and of the silk half and half now this is really hard to find i live in canada i found mine at sobeys or else you can also find it at Superstore in the natural fridge aisle. Um, but at Sobeys, it is in with all of the rest of the cream. But I know when I get it at Superstore, it is in a different spot. So make sure you try to find it. It has really good macros. It is one carb per one tablespoon as well. Um, so I just take my two tablespoon measuring spoon here that I got off of Amazon. I always have it linked in down in the description. It is one of my favorite things because two tablespoons is what I use for both my half and half and for my heavy whipping cream. So we are just going to keep this out because we are going to foam a little bit of that as well in our frother. So let's go in with our heavy whipping cream. And then what we are going to also add, of course, you guys know I am a huge fan of also the skinny syrups. Um, teach their own. I have been using these throughout my whole entire journey. Um, you know, kudos to you that can drink black coffee. I have just never been able to. Um, maybe one day I will. But we are going to add one teaspoon of this in there, of the skinny syrups, in with the coffee. All right, now next what we are going to do, we are gonna give this a stir. I'm gonna get my spoon and I'm gonna give that a really, really good stir. But let's move on to our frother and what we are going to do with our frother. So this is the frother that Jimmy got me for Christmas. It has been really, really good. Actually, it was my birthday or Christmas. It, my birthday and Christmas are a week apart, so I can never remember. But what we are going to do is we are going to put in our two tablespoons as well. And I know this may seem like a lot for people, but to each their own. If you don't want, if you don't want to put this in your coffee, the half and half, you can leave it out of your coffee and just use it for your foam. It's totally up to you. This is just how I've been making it for the last couple of weeks, and I love it. We are going to put in one one drop of the liquid stevia. And then we are also going to go in with a splash of the skinny syrup. And then we are just going to put the lid on that and put it, this one has a cold and a hot setting. So you can do cold foam on your iced coffees as well. But we are gonna put it on the hot one and it usually takes about a minute or so. And then I, in the meantime, I'm gonna stir my coffee and then we will put the foam on top and our coffee will be done. All right, our frothing is all done, and let's put it in our coffee. And this is my favorite, favorite way right now to have my coffee in the morning. It is so good. All right, had some exciting news happen in our little hamlet. Um, so like I mentioned, I do live in a hamlet. There's only about 200 houses, I would guess. No amenities or nothing. We are about 30 minutes outside of a major city. Um, major city meaning about 60,000 people. But our neighbor, so we know pretty much everybody. And considering I worked up the road on um, at the Canix. Now the Canix does have some amenities it is about um five ten kilometers away from here and that is where i worked at the post office and uh, at the till so you can get groceries there and gas 
um, it's really expensive but it is there you know from usually from like nine to six are the hours there but anyways uh, so I know everybody that lives in our hamlet because I worked at the Canix and so the neighbor across the street from me the ambulance just showed up and because we are close to a military base that is who responds first will be um the military police and the military fighter fighter firefighters and the ems also um from the military so that's who arrives first because they are literally just up the road so usually if they just come and go it's not too big of a, of a situation as far as you know if you're having a heart attack or anything they call in the paramedics from medicine hat the big city that i was talking about um and they showed up here so first of all what had happened i don't know what the details are but there was two um fire trucks and an M EMS from base that came originally. And I was thinking, okay, it must be, you know, nothing too serious. Um, but then I heard sirens and lights from the EMS that came from the city and they took out the gurney and everything and went into the home. And she, it was the lady, and I don't think her husband was home because there is a husband and wife that live in that house. And I believe he might've been at work and it was just her coming out on the gurney. Um, so it must be something serious because when they left, they left with the sirens and the lights on, which means it is something serious. So it probably could be like a heart attack or something major, you know, that she's feeling, but ooh, that was like, I have, there's been a lot of incidents in this area, like for that situation, but I've never been home for that because I'm always at work. So that was kind of like interesting to see, um, literally was right across from my street. So hopefully, hopefully she is okay. I'm just kind of concerned where her husband is because, um, her husband works on base. So, uh, if he would have been notified, he would have been able to come home right away. So hopefully, you know, he is able to go and see her once they get to the city and sort out what is wrong with her. But exciting. This is the most excitement that we get in our little hamlet. I guarantee you that everyone in this community is either messaging, text messaging each other, calling each other to find out what went on. Jimmy and I kind of keep to ourselves, even though we've lived here in this community for a long time, like 15 years. But we just tend to kind of keep to ourselves. But I guarantee you, you know, there is um, some communication going on today in our little house. All right, I am all done my coffee and it is now 1230. So what I'm going to have to eat first, if you would have watched my last video where I had made um, some keto chow recipes that are not shakes. I love doing videos like that. I haven't done one for a bit you a year. So I want to get back into that because I want to start implementing more protein into my diet so that is why i did that video so i will link that video up here in the cards for you to see but one of those recipes is some truffles so that is what i'm going to be having for my first meal um and then i will also be showing you what i'm having for my snack because i already know what my snack is going to be and if you've been watching my channel this week you too will know what is going to be for my snack. I am addicted. I'm 100% addicted to this. So stay tuned to see what I will be having for my snack. And also make sure that you check out that recipe with the keto chow recipes um, that I had made in my recent video. First, what I'm going to have before I have um, my chaffles though, I changed my mind. I am going to be having a couple of buns because those chaffles, as far as like the macros, isn't a lot. So these buns that I made, they're very, very good, but they are really sticky. So for those of you that say that they're wet and sticky, mine did too. And I feel that they did that because I didn't cook them long enough. They're still cooked, but I don't think I cooked them long enough for these buns, but they are still really, really good. So what I did is I'm having two buns with some lettuce, and some cheese and also some Hungarian salami. I love this stuff. I'm a big fan of like salami and pepperoni, so I really like that. So included with the chaffles, I'm gonna kinda have the chaffles as a dessert. 
um, but I am going to be having my buns as well too and this is just that's how they look so like I said mine do sometimes turn out wet and sticky as well and I feel like it's just because I didn't cook them enough all right, it is time for my snack now. It is about 2.30 and I am making another smoothie. So I made a smoothie in one of my last videos. Um, I will link it up here in the cards if you haven't seen that video when I make the smoothie. I made, it wasn't my recipe, I found it on the internet and it was a peanut butter and chocolate smoothie. I substituted the peanut butter for my soy nut butter because I am allergic to all nuts. However, yesterday I made it again, of course, because when I like something, I like having it on repeat. So I made it again yesterday, but instead of the peanut butter or my soy nut butter, I put in some of my frozen strawberries. So I had bought in a big package of strawberries probably about a month ago or a couple weeks ago, and they were very ripe, which is good because that's how I like them. I like them ripe, um, but I did need to freeze some of them because we just couldn't eat all of them before they went bad. So what I normally do is I will clean them and then throw them in baggies in like serving sizes and freeze them in my freezer. So I have about three baggies um, of strawberries in my fridge. Now you can also buy a big bag of frozen strawberries as well. But that's what I used instead of the peanut butter, so therefore it was kind of like a strawberry chocolate smoothie, and it was delicious. It was so good, I'm addicted. So once again, I will have the recipe linked in the description. It is my new favorite snack because it is filling. It takes me a long time to drink it, and now that it's getting nicer out and getting close to summer, it is really refreshing. So it has been super nice here in Southern Alberta. We have been hitting highs of about 20, 22 degrees Celsius, which is really, really perfect spring weather. Um, but this has been my new go-to snack. So that is what I'm going to be having for my snack. And then later on, I will have my supper. So lately I've been having two main meals and one snack in between. And I still have been practicing my intermittent fasting as well too. So my eating window is usually between 12 and five or 12 and six, usually. So let's make my smoothie and have that for our snack. You've told me more. Then wants to show you my intention My brain gets blocked at times but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of a romance You make me feel so alive All right, and there you have it. It is a strawberry chocolate smoothie. It is so good. Let's give it a taste. This is my new favorite. It is delicious. It is so good. Now, instead of the cocoa powder that it, it recommends in the recipe, I decided to start using my protein powder that I get from Equipped. This is the chocolate. Very clean ingredients and very high in protein. I have a link in the description code if you are interested. But like I said, either this or adding some keto chow as well to the chocolate would taste really good in this as well. Just to get kind of boost that protein and to keep you feeling full for longer. But I love this. It is my new favorite go-to because it is so filling and it takes me a while to drink this rather than just having a quick snack like meat and cheese or something like that that is literally gone within like five minutes. I can kind of take my time and sip on this and it will take me a while to finish and it is very filling. All right, I am ready for my second meal. It is about 10 after five and I'm going to be having a big salad for supper. So this is kind of like a cob salad. Um, I have romaine lettuce in there as well as some chicken breast that I cut up some cheese that I sliced up, some cucumber, um, one slice of bacon that I cooked and chopped up, and one hard boiled egg. 
So this is going to be my supper. I was just craving a big salad. So I'm going to put some pepper in there and as well as the Redmond's Real Salt. You guys know I love all of their products, especially their seasonings. Like you guys know, I'm a huge fan of their electrolytes, but their seasonings are all very reasonably priced and very, very good. So I always have the link in the description if anybody is interested. And with the code Janet Greta, it will save you 15% as well. And then I am gonna to top it with just some ranch dressing over top of everything. And that is going to be my last meal of the day.